This is my favourite work in the exhibition. Uh, this is Catherine's portrait of her daughter-in-law, her new daughter-in-law, Elsie Martindale. Um, so Catherine painted this in 1895. Um, and um, so it's a late work, it's her return, this is her attempt to kind of pick up a professional brush again um, in the 1890s. Um, and it's actually a portrait that was started by her father, so you have this nice continuity of, uh, of her working as a studio assistant at the start of her life and also towards the end of her life. Um, so it, she actually picks it up after her father dies in 1893 um, and she um, takes on this, this portrait of her daughter-in-law. Um, so Elsie was only um, 18 when she married uh, Ford Maddox Huffer, uh, Catherine's eldest son. Um, and I like this work for um, various reasons. Firstly, it was one of the hardest works to actually find for the exhibition um, and it involved a lot of um, conversation with the family to actually track down where this work um, was, was located. So um, it's, it's quite a joy <laughs> to have actually secured it for the exhibition. But the um, other reason that I really like this painting um, is that it does credit to both the artist and the sitter. Um, so it's beautifully painted, it's very striking. Um, and you see Elsie in this, uh, it's uh, made of, it's called Liberty uh, Furniture, Serge Furniture um, material. And uh, Elsie actually made this dress. And it was part of her, when she became part of um, the Maddox or the Hoofer family, this was her sort of taking on her pre-Raphaelite identity, so she started um, dressing um, in an aesthetic way. Elsie's a very strong character, so she actually eloped with Catherine's son um, because her parents forbid the match, and she eloped at 18 and married him. Um, and not only is she um, a very intelligent, striking uh, young woman, but she also um, she went on to be um, very um, able in her own right. She was a translator of Guy de Maupassant's works. Um, but she also proved herself to have um, very strong, um, strong metal in that, uh, or strong convictions in that actually the marriage did not prove um, happy. Um, in that uh, Ford was quite a, um, a character who suffered from depression. And they would actually, he discusses their marriage when he becomes Ford Maddox Ford. Um, he discusses their marriage in The Good Soldier and the kind of the, the tensions between them and the kind of disappointments of that, that marriage. Um, and he actually, um, in the early 20th century, would uh, go his separate way. But she refused, Elsie refused um, to divorce him and um, sued for the return of her conjugal rights, which um, in an age where you consider the um, the, the theme of the fallen woman and the sort of cast off woman, um, she sort of refuses to allow that to happen to her. And so for me, she actually represents the kind of the empowered figure, the new woman that you start to uh, see with the next generation um, that were beginning to emerge at the end of the 19th century.